Welcome. Thank you for your interest in learning about what Qigong is all about. Let me introduce myself. My name is Julie Salsa. I am a holistic nutrition consultant, herbalist, and Spring Forest Qigong group leader. Thank you for joining me in this short video where I'm going to explain what Qigong is all about and demonstrate a few of the movements so then you have an idea of what to expect. So, Qigong is a very ancient practice, thousands of years old, studied in China. It's a form of their traditional Chinese medicine. There are many different forms of Qigong. I happen to be trained in Spring Forest Qigong. It's a very simple and easy practice that anyone of any ability can do. Qi means energy and gong means to work with. So we're working with our body's energy. There are different points in our body called meridian points, and they are connected to different organs and organ systems in our body. When those points and areas are blocked, it can cause disease and illness. And Qigong helps us open those channels up so we can have our energy flow and have our body really do what it's meant to do, which is heal itself. Our body really is truly amazing. It is designed to heal itself. But lots of times we just get in the way of that. So Qigong helps us open those channels, helps our body heal, and it's, it's just a truly wonderful practice. I've used it along my own health journey, and it has brought great joy and happiness into my life. So what would you expect when we do Qigong in a session? Well, when I lead a one-hour Qigong session, there are both... Um, movements and then a seated guided meditation. 30 minutes is just usually the movements. So when we practice Spring Forest Qigong, we focus on three different areas. We focus on our breath, the movements, and then meditation. So I think Qigong is moving meditation. That's how I think of it. So when we first start our practice, we always start with certain movements, and this is called activating our chi. So we do different tapping motion, motions. So we tap different meridian points, we tap our heads, we tap our elbows, different parts of our body. And then we bounce. That's also one of the beginning things that we do. We bounce. We get all of that energy flowing. And then we move into just setting our intention for the practice and part of the beautiful thing about practicing in a group is that we, again, we are all made of energy and we can feed off and um, connect with each other on an energy level. So when we practice as a group, even if we're distance or not, we're still connecting together to create a big loving G circle. Then we set our intention. We call upon our own master's energy to help us and guide us in the practice for the day. Then our moving, a couple of the movements that we do, one of them is called moving of yin and yang. Yin and yang. So we start with our uh, right hand above our face, our left hand by our navel, and this is what it will look like. Your uh, top hand will always move out as your bottom hand moves in, and then they switch positions moving of yin and yang. Our knees are slightly bent. And you can practice this with your eyes closed or practice with your eyes open. It's very slow. Again, you move to your own ability. You don't even have to be able to practice this standing up. You can sit down and do these movements. You can lie down. If you don't have full range of motion or ability to move certain body parts, that's okay too, because you can just visualize and envision yourself moving in these movements. And it's still as healing and powerful. So that's moving of yin and yang. Again, I'm doing this a lot faster than we would be doing it in a group. The next one I wanted to demonstrate was called Breathing of the Universe. And again, we also can um, incorporate our breath as well. So we have a slight bend in our knees, our hands go out, 
and then we come to more of a standing and again you do this to your ability okay nothing should ever hurt and we exhale when we come in and we inhale as we go out inhale and exhale inhale and exhale those are two of the movements this there's maybe a couple that get a little bit more complicated but that's as complicated as it gets it's very easy very gentle very healing so that's pretty much the movements and at the end of each session or at the end of the guided meditation if it's at a longer session then we do what's called cultivating our chi and we bring in all of that great energy that we just got moving so we can uh, tap into it any time of the day so again then we we do more tapping on our head we do that we do different tapping motions and that's it for the practice so simple so easy, again, so healing.